There are active and non-active soldering fluxes out there. Active flux is generally used when a part fails to be tinned with conventional flux. I use aluminum soldering flux. It actually works in most situations where conventional flux doesn't. Again, it's important to not overuse it when unnecessary. You must remember that active flux vapors are much more harmful than rosin fumes. Avoid exposing your eyes to them and never inhale them. After soldering, be sure to rinse the board as active flux residues can damage the PCB traces and component leads. If the room you're working in does not have a hood, you can use this simple method to capture fumes. Also remember to always wash your hands after soldering, lest the lead and other chemicals contained in solder wire accumulate in your body.